meeting, a special community meeting about the possibilities of starting a Unity Montessori school. Um, we'll be starting it small using our facility here, probably with about nine kids. Um, and so um, this has been a vision of this community for about 20 years. And so this is an opportunity for us to step into creating that new vision. If you want to check out what a Montessori classroom might look like, Classroom 6 is set up and uh, we'll be showcasing it for the next couple weeks and you can see what a classroom is set up. We're going to do a presentation next week at 1230 and then um, we'll either vote or not vote. I'm not sure if we're going to be voting or not. It'll depend on if anybody calls for a vote, but it at least gets us the next step in that process. We're actually about a year ahead of where we thought we were in the planning, so things are good there. Also next Saturday, the annual um, Hoot Nanny, uh, the Mighty Kindness Festival will be going on at Waterfront Park at the Brown Foreman Amphitheater. We will have a booth there. Um, uh, resilient families will be sharing the booth with us, and Darren Frank will be not sharing the booth with us. Um, so, but we'll have prayer flags for the kids to make. Uh, we'll have oneness blessers there offering oneness. The nice thing about the Hoot Festival, the Mighty Kindness Festival, is probably the most family-friendly festival in Louisville um, in that it's not revolving around bourbon. It is a, you know, almost an alcohol-free family event. It's a lot of fun. So hope you can make that. Join it. If you come over, just stop by the booth and hang out for a while. All right. So as this is a meditative service, we always do our prosperity um, offering in the beginning. Unity practices the divine law of giving and receiving. And for those of you who are watching online, there is a donate button. So, and we teach to give where we are spiritually fed. So we just hold these prayers in our heart and we will say our offertory blessing together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have all that I give, and all that I receive. And so it is. Amen. So we begin this meditative service with the reading of the daily word, which for those who are not familiar will be followed by a time of quiet as our oneness blessers and energy workers bless the gathered. The word for today is motherly love. I express gratitude for the many channels through which motherly love flows. On this day, devoted to appreciating mothers, I find it helpful to expand this energy to include the many channels through which motherly love flows into my life. Whatever my gender or personal history, history motherly love is an intimate and important power in my life. It enfolds me as divine presence and it flows to me through many channels. I experience motherly love as more than simply a warm, pleasant feeling. Today, I recognize its tremendous power in my life, expressing as guidance, understanding, and creative energy. I honor the maternal presence as I welcome every opportunity to share it with others. I express gratitude for the many channels through which motherly love flows. And from Isaiah chapter 66, 13, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. The word for today is motherly 
love. Let us remember that it is not I, but the Christ within who does the work. The longer days and warmer temperatures create a sense of new life as we experience the budding of the trees and the emergence of springtime flowers. We are filled with joyful expectancy as each day unfolds in glorious splendor. We allow this beauty to infuse our thoughts as we enter into this sacred time of prayer and take a few moments in the quiet. I am infused with the peace and strength of God. The peace of God is like heaven in my soul. It infuses every aspect of my life and is my reality as a spiritual being. The peace and strength I experience within radiates from me and I respond to outer events with grace and ease. I now relax completely as I enter into a time of quiet.
God is my constant guide on my fulfilling journey through life. God is my constant guide I'm a, on my fulfilling journey through life. God is the illuminating presence lighting my way. I am assured of right guidance, whether the path before me is winding, straight, clear, or uncertain. I am filled with joy and confidence. I know that I am being led in ways that will bring forth my highest good. I hold this truth in my heart as I pray in the stillness. I am a radiating center of divine life and energy. God life in me shines forth brightly, radiating energy from the center of my being. Life is a spiritual quality that cannot be dimmed by circumstances. I have faith in in this energy of divine life that is constantly restoring and energizing me. I am a radiating center of divine life and energy and it flows through me now as I rest once again in the stillness. The abundance of the universe flows to me. I accept it with joy and gratitude. God's gift of joy lifts my spirit and strengthens my faith. I see the abundant good all around me. I am reminded of the many ways my life is blessed. 
I am grateful. Joy and gratitude continue act, to act as magnets attracting the blessings I seek. The abundance of the universe flows to me now and I accept it with joy and gratitude and I affirm this truth now in the stillness. I hold a vision of peace and harmony for the world. I live in a world that is now awakening to the activity of God. I envision each person being touched by this awareness and experiencing the oneness we share as spiritual beings. Peace and harmony draw us together in a bond of loving kindness. I hold a vision of peace and harmony for the world, and I open my heart to all as I pray in the stillness. Let us take a breath now and allow that breath to return our attention back fully 
to this day. And as we prepare to return to the activities of this day, we take a moment to be in gratitude. We take a deep breath. And as we bring this time of prayer to close, and with grateful hearts, we go forth from this sacred time empowered to accomplish the will and the work of spirit. We have been touched by the very hand of God. And we go forth to fulfill our purpose. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. A reminder, if you have a prayer request that came up during your time or just you have a prayer request, if you fill out a prayer slip and drop it in our prayer box at the back of the sanctuary, our prayer ministry will pray with your requests and then we will forward those requests to Silent Unity where they will be prayed with for an additional 30 days. Our oneness blessers will be available and prayer chaplains will be available for individual prayer or blessings at the con Inclusion of the service, so if you'd like a blessing or a prayer, feel free to take advantage of that gift.